Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you all from Dr. Deb's home to you. So this morning I woke up early. It's raining a lot in St. Mary, Jamaica. A lot of rain. Got up, took off the blanket, went on my knees, prayed. Say thanks to the Most High for life. We gotta, we gotta start every morning like that, right? We have to be grateful, have an attitude of gratitude to the creator and sustainer of mankind. All right, so having done my worship and going through my Bible study and everything, I prayed for energy to go exercise. Because when you have cold mornings like that, you really don't even want to come out of the bed. You pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you the power to go exercise. And he does. So I got up. Can't go outside, I thought. Can't go outside, it's raining. So I got my skipping rope, my weights. Download some videos online about power walking on spot. Did my power walking, right? Cover a good, say, 40 minutes of doing that. We'll work up a sweat. You know, get the muscles moving. Get the toxins out of the system. Get your lymphatic system flushed. Get your blood circulating all the way up from the brain down, right? Have all of your organs do their elimination process. Open the door. And guess what I saw? <laughs> My neighbors in the rain with their umbrella walking you know dr deb got excited right so i ran and grabbed my umbrella grab my umbrella i said no man i joined them so i went and got another 30 minutes of just doing some walking some power walking brisk walking round and round and round in our scheme while i was walking i was passing a friend of mine pat and pat pointed out to me a herb that i had not seen all this time i'm walking around and around because I really don't fast in people's yard. <laughs> so a big bunch of this particular her was there. But I had never noticed it before. She pointed it out to me and said she's going to use it to make her tea. And she's going to combine it with um, fever grass. Now, if you guys have been watching her YouTube videos since COVID story started, you would see a video that keeps going around and around about um, the vervain, right? and how effective vervain is against the covid virus and i wanted to do a video on it but i never saw any of the vervain plant and the thing was right under my nose in my community right in my neighbor's front yard thank you pat for pointing it out to me that's the lord you know that's how the lord works so i picked a bunch of it told my neighbor thanks and i said let me come and do a video to explain now when it comes to herbs we have to be careful of how we use herbs I keep highlighting that. Now, vervain is a very good plant. It has many medicinal properties. But vervain falls in a category of herbs that we call eliminative. I keep recommending to you guys, go and get your resource books. In my backyard, Powerful Herbs and Foods of the Caribbean, you have part one and part two. If you're in Jamaica, just call my office, 876-974-8813 or 878-8867 and my office manager or one of my staff will send it off to you wherever you are, right? Or I think the author has a website. I'm not sure. Google it and see if you can find it. And maybe you can just buy it online, all right? Now, let us talk about um, the vervain and let us talk about eliminative herbs. So you have to understand these things, people, or you will make yourself sick while you're drinking herbal teas. Listen up. So now, in our book, it talks about four major physiological actions of herbs. This is how the herbs impact on the body and what it does to the body. So we have the eliminative herbs, we have the repairing herbs, the sustaining herbs, and the building herbs, right? Now, the eliminative herbs are for detoxing. You do not drink them every day. You only use them for a period, right? And you have to be advised properly how to use them for a particular purpose eliminative herb which is vervain okay now vervain eliminative herbs open the organs of elimination which is the colon the liver the lungs the kidneys and the skin to facilitate the expulsion of waste from the body elimination is a critical process in herbal remedy administration because disease often results from a buildup of poisons in the body in addition, when the herbs have done its work in neutralizing poisons and removing disease causing agents, we need to know that these are effectively removed from the body. These herbs include um, alteratives, 
laxatives and diuretic herbs so we have to know how to combine the herbs also when we detox in the body that is why I tell all of you guys go and find a naturopathic doctor and go and find a herbalist a trained herbalist get proper advice or go and buy your books and educate yourselves before you start drinking these eliminative herbs now some of the other herbs that fall in that category we have the aloe vera the circe the corn silk right the king of the forest love vine these are what we call eliminative herbs they're for detoxing for purging and cleansing the body you don't drink them every single day all right now let's look at the vervain now the vervain it says other names bastard vervain blue verbena um vervine or worry wine so those are the, some of the other names for it right no uses the fresh leaf now people think that you have to dry the herbs before you can make the tea no we dry the herbs for storage purpose that's why we dry our herbs right so if you're going to use the green herbs you use like one tablespoon if you're using the dried herb because the water has already been taken out so it's more concentrated you use one teaspoon to eight ounces of water okay now the fresh leaf right off the plant as an infusion vervain is a general tonic and blood cleanser as well as a helpful remedy for asthma and ulcerative stomach it is also good for cause for fevers and rheumatism this infusion administered in the morning on an empty stomach is also very good for getting rid of worms in the body externally the grounded leaves, the the leaves and make a paste, right? Is good for skin ulcers, wounds and boils. Bruised leaves rubbed on sprains and bruises are very good for soothing and healing. Okay, the whole plant no, right? So the, the stem and the leaf and the bark, all of it, the whole plant, the decoction, which means you boil it, right? Of the plant has the reputation of being useful for a wide array of problems in the male and female reproductive systems. It is also an effective remedy for high cholesterol and thereby is protective against heart disease taken as a decoction it is a tonic for the eyes and also useful for the nervous problems the plant is also very good for resolving fevers and the common cold a decoction is also very valuable in cases of malaria dispensary and diabetes the root it is said is a good helpful remedy for persons who are suffering with gonorrhea um, now combined with semi-contract which is another plant or source of leaf another plant the vervine is an is very effective at getting rid of worms out of the body and of course the caution is there that it's never to be consumed by pregnant women right most herbs will tell you that that you don't give these herbs to pregnant women now please ensure that you get your book right the instructions are there and it tells you how to use it what quantity to use and what herbs you can combine it with and get your remedial properties out of this beautiful wonderful plant so this plant by itself the vervain it is not a miracle plant for covid or anything else it is simply a very effective um, plant for elimination for getting toxins out of your body right and restoring the blood to good health now if you are drinking any herb and you are consuming your garbage food your processed food your your junk food your highly processed white flour and white rice and you open meat meat and fry fry and you open sugar you're wasting your time right you've got to ensure that when you're taking the herbs you're also switching over to a whole food plant based diet i said that several times in many of my videos right so we're talking about fruits vegetables seeds nuts grains grown provision peas and beans drinking plenty of water and then staying on the new start platform nutrition exercise water sunlight temperance air rest and trust in god it is god who placed the medicinal properties in the plant but we have to learn to use them properly now i hope that is very clear for all of you guys now let's go to the word to the word the word the word right now I'm going to share with you this morning from Psalm 111. The heading says in my study Bible, the works of the Lord are great. He is great and greatly to be praised. The Bible says, praise he the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. 
in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation when we come together as a people we worship the lord we praise our god the psalmist says the works of the lord are great sought out of all them that have pleasure therein his work is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endured forever he has made his wonderful works to be remembered the lord is gracious and full of compassion he has given meat unto them that fear him he will ever be mindful of his covenant god never forgets his covenant his promise to his children verse 6 he had showed his people the power of his works that he may give them the heritage of the heathen verse 7 the works of his hands are verity and judgment and all his commandments are sure they stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and righteousness he send redemption unto his people he have commanded his covenant forever holy and reverent is his name ten and last the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments his praise endureth forever let us praise the lord he is our creator our sustainer our provider our savior now the commentary on verse 9 says we are never in any manner to treat lightly the titles or the appellations of the deity his names don't treat them lightly you must respect god in prayer we enter the audience chamber of the most high and we should come before him with holy awe the angels veil their faces in his presence the cherubim and the bright and holy seraphim approach his throne with solemn reverence how much more should we finite sinful beings come in a reverent manner before the lord our maker let us pray loving father and our god we truly thank you so much for your instructions in righteousness we thank you for jesus christ our advocate our high priest our kinsman redeemer our brother who died for us that we who were dead in sin can now have life and have it more abundantly thank you lord for another day of life thank you for your grace and for your mercy thank you for the rain and the sun your food your very air that we breathe thank you lord that your your breath is in us these lungs of clay that you made from dust we are alive because of you we live and breathe and have our being lord because of you lord i ask you this morning for your blessing over my life over my son family members friends i pray lord for the sick and the suffering i pray for our land jamaica that indeed lord you will root out the evil from our land and that you will fill our hearts with righteousness lord let your holy spirit just rain upon this little island that you've given us we pray lord for all of your children across the world I pray a special prayer this morning, Father, for those who are listening to the sound of my voice. I pray that you will continue to pull your children out of darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the infilling of your Holy Spirit. Bless, anoint, and consecrate all of your sons and daughters. And let your name, Father, be glorified, magnified, and exalted. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. There you have it, guys. So, you have your herbs. You have your food, you have your spiritual food, you have your resource books. Stay in good health and prosper for the honor and the glory of God. Have a wonderful day from Dr. Debs.